Okay. Hello. The Sultan's wife. A knock on the door echoes through the palace, through my veiled head. Five of the Sultan's handmaidens enter, dart around like swallows, pulling on and off silks and cottons, wringing my eyes with cold before I can blink, berry staining my lips before a sigh can escape. Cursed beauty, I am one of 300 wives, no better than an odalisk, worse off than the Bourgogne-Gillian hyacinth in the garden. No kisses from the sun, only kisses from the sultan once a year. We all exist for King Mohammed Ibn Yusuf Ben Nasir, maker of the Alhambra. Locked behind iron gates, we cannot look out from our honeycomb rooms, cannot see each other, cannot be seen by soldiers passing by men at prayer. I stand for hours, days at my window, no longer know where the lace on my headdress begins, the lacy curl of iron ends. I know only the poems of Ibn al-Yayab. I allow them to enter, learn to recite them for the Sultan's pleasure. When I read, I hear no men drone, no women weep. I long to tear off silk, smear charcoal eyes, dig beneath the perfect plants, befriend the hungry bugs and worms. The handmaidens have finished. Lead me out. I will not cry when the sultan's rolling flesh surrounds me. He will see my dark eyes above the veil, but cannot look behind them. Deep inside, I will jump like a cat from verse to verse, recline amongst joyous images, floating like clouds above the sun. Mm.